The biggest news today is the Arno de Mar omission from Groupama FTJ. Now, I sensed something in the waters this coming last night because mm -hmm. I I just sensed it in the water. And I Which put out water? A, just the, the, the French Groupama FTJ tour selection water. Just I just too much Pinot chatter. And I, I know how they work. <laughs> and so I put out the team. Yeah. The best team they should take. Uh, and that, that's been wholeheartedly rejected. I thought they should take Pino. They should take DeMar with Scotson. They should take Kung. They should take Gregoire for stage one and to go for yellow. He's really good. And take Garou with Madouaz and Genietz. And, um, you know, that'll be absolutely fine. Anyway, it comes out today. DeMar's out. Thibaut Pino in. DeMar out. And, and this is... And DeMar has taken this really heavily because he said first of all they told him at Bucle de la Mayenne they're not even offering him a contract extension and then apparently he was supposed to be um, they told him since December he was doing the Tour de France he prepared for that and he's going fine. He helped Godou in Paranese. He was a very professional about that whole debacle and he won Brussels Cycling Classic he was second yesterday. It's not like he's completely washed and um, yeah I just I'm really Rob, shocked, Benji. Do you think this is a mistake? I think this is a mistake. Surely, I think this is a mistake because, like, David Godou, yes, his Paranese was grave. Yes, he got second, partially thanks to Demar. So, credits where credit is due there with that intermediate sprint. Now, next to that, we've got the Dauphiné, which is a complete opposite extreme because Godou was nowhere in the Dauphiné. So, you've got these two markers where you have to judge what Godou's form will be like. And I'm looking at the most recent one. Now Godou's saying, well, we'll all be fine. Like, it's hard to believe that from the outside world. But let's say it's, it's fine. Even if Godou can compete for a top five in the Tour de France, which in good form he can do, then I still wouldn't completely throw an entire team behind him. You don't need an entire team to top five the Tour de France. You need support in the mountains. How many riders do you need that support in the mountains? Four. Four is fine. I'd Four? Say Four max is fine. Four. But as you say, those four riders can be freed on occasions yeah, yeah. to go for their own stuff. For example, Stefan Kung can go for stages. He can also go for the time trial. That might be more difficult than a different time trial yeah. for Stefan Kung, though. But the other right, Valentin Maduas, perfect domestique, and he can go for some stages in the breakaways. Michael Storer could be in there in the same way. Maybe to replace your Gregoire. I'm not 100% certain about Gregoire. I agree that he could fight for yellow, but Gregoire's I also kind of want... store right now. Yeah, but I want, I want him to be... I just want them to be all out on Gregoire, plus Lenny Martinez at the Vuelta, full leadership for both, and an entire team to support those two. That would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. And Genietz was like... A, yeah, a couple of all-rounders like Genietz and Madawas, they can and do... Yeah. yeah. You you don't need an entire lead out for Demar. Yes, he does best with a lead out for his team, but there's, uh, I checked earlier today, there's between six and eight pure sprint stages. Pure sprint stages, like classic ones. Exactly. So that's way more than usual in the Tour de France. Go to this Tour de France without sprinters and you're skipping out on 30% of the race, 40% of the race maybe. So I'm like, and hundreds that's just of points. fucking stupid. Hundreds of points. Like, yeah. You're basically going to your most important race of the year as a French team. You have the best French... Oh, no, the Laporte's maybe better. But you have the best French sprinter of the last five years. In a way, it's coming. Yeah, maybe later, but not now. And <laughs> you are already at the start line saying, we will not even be in the top 10 relevant at all to be talked about for 40% of the stages. Like, to me, that is... Dude, even Jumbo Visma don't put all their eggs in the basket of GC. They're like, well, yep. anything can happen. He can get sick. He can crash out. You know what eases that pain a little bit? Is if you've won a stage or you've gone for green. And, and I really don't think DeMar is that far out of the green jersey conversation. Van Aert's not going for it. Philipson is, you know... Winning it. Uh, yeah, of course, the heavy favorite, but he could get disqualified. Yeah. He could crash out. He could get relegated. He could, anything could happen, as we saw with Sagan and Matthews back in the day. So, DeMar's not a completely unrealistic guy to go for it. Uh, even if, okay, yeah, 
is he going to head to head in a burn in a race beat Gronerweg and Jakobsen and co if they all get a perfect lead out against him? No. But anything can happen in a sprint, and I do actually think his form is quite fine. And also, he was like, there's no better option. And this is the thing, like, it's so old school and traditional thinking, thinking that more mountain domestiques who are not good at climbing, Quentin Pacher or Rudy Mollard, who are not good at climbing, help a GC rider that much. They don't. When Godou is on Puy de Dome, he is on his own. They cannot fucking push him up the climb. When he is on Col du Juplin, they cannot help him. When he's on Col de la Lose, they can barely help him on the steep section because they will be dropped. Pardon? Only when you put them in the break as satellite rider. But Group Pama doesn't then. do that. Yeah. So that you, triggers you me. You need a pure, like you need someone like Vine, someone like Koos, Bora has someone like Kamna, and you only need one. You don't need four of them. One is fine. The problem is, Pino is not going to help Gadu. Pino is selfish, and he's not going to help Gadu that much, I don't think. Uh, maybe under sufferance. So Pino, you put him in, he's going to go for his own objectives as his farewell mm-hmm. tour. Yeah. So now you put Pino in, and now you've taken that spot, and you think, okay, well now, who's going to help Gadu? And then, anyway, look, at, I don't want to, it's unfair, it is unfair to compare Group Palmer FTJ to Yumbo Visma and Ineos and UAE because the budgets are extremely different. But if we compare them to EF Education Easy Post, who don't have a big budget, who's won more Tour de France stages consistently the last few years or the last five years? I haven't looked up the stat, but I think it's, I think it's EF, right? I actually don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but your point aside, we'll pretend it's right. Your point aside for a second. Even if DeMar goes into this team, even if he has one extra lead out man, which is Scottson, next to a Kung, they, they both can try and help position him before a sprint starts. Then he can try and figure it out himself once the sprint is beginning. You don't necessarily need a last lead out man every sprint to be competitive in a sprint. He's proven it before that he's won next in, in that Giro where he won three stages, two of which were with help of Singledom, one of which was without a, a proper last man lead out. So he's had occasions where he can sprint on his own. Now, when it comes to the fronts, that's, that's more difficult. But it's still possible. It's six to eight chances to do so. So it's worth it. And even with those two riders to the team, I still have trouble finding the eighth rider for the team. It's like, there's not eight super obvious riders for the Tour de France <laughs> in this team. Come on. And that's the thing. Like, they haven't looked at all the stages. And stage one, for example, is perfect for Gregoire. Like, yep. I really, really believe in Gregoire. If you saw what he did at Dunkirk on not that hard a climb against Hagenes, who is very highly rated. He has a huge explosion for a, a 20-year-old that's weighing next to nothing, and he climbs decently too. So yeah, but he's the next Jala man. And, and to not... I know he's young, but... I, of course, I'm a very high-risk person for high reward. <laughs> so, like, I see stage one, I look at their roster, and I think Gregoire is the best rider to win that stage to take yellow. Chance is, what, 5%? But if you do that... It's like one of the biggest yep. things in the, in the team's history, you know? So to me, because the downside is, as you said, Rudy Mallard. So like, it, it's not like you're taking out Sepp Kuss or Wout Van Aert. Gregoire can do the same that Mallard is doing. Exactly, he just showed in Swiss. He's climbing, <laughs> fi- no, he's climbing fine. He did exactly. have six watts per kilo for 30 minutes just now. That's yep. better than those guys. I agree. So why, why do you think... Um, why did I interrupt you during why, your Gregoire speech? No, because... no, but why, why do you think this happened? Oh. Is it, it, are we missing the point? Is this personalities? Oh, probably. Probably just egos. The way Godou is speaking on, on, on the social media about his teammate, it sounds like he's got an ego. The way Pino's behaving sounds like he has an ego. The way Demar's behaving sounds like he actually has the least ego of them all, which yeah. is he gets penalized because he's a nice guy, is the way it looks. And this guy's won a lot of races for that team, 96, in fact, um, including big, big races like San Remo and, and co. And certainly, yeah, he'll be leaving that team on a, on a very sour note. And I don't think it was necessary. And in fact, I think he's in the right. But maybe we'll be... Because, like, I don't see Godou coming fourth. Benji is as, as realistic as last year. He just was terrible in the Dauphiné, like just terrible. And he won a Dauphiné stage last year, by the mm-hmm. way. 
uh, when he, before he came fourth. Yeah. He wouldn't have come fourth were it not for Wout van Aert going back to get Roglic on the Granada stage. He was 13 minutes behind in fourth, and I think that the Tour de France GC field is a little bit deeper this year. Like, yeah. O'Connor and Hindley are just better than him, you know, and they're, they're in finding that three, four spots. Of course, people can get COVID or whatever. Yates, like Yates is better than Gudu right now uh, compared to last year as well. Yes, but it depends on which Yates you're talking about and also what role the Adam Yates will be landing into once we get to week three of the Tour de France. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, shame for DeMar. Let us know what you think. Should Groupama have taken him? Uh, but yeah, it's a big controversy at the moment. 